Oh my god, it's so hot. What are we doing? Oh, the bumper lip thingy. So yeah, we're gonna restart. We're gonna install it because kind of you want it more out. And then so yeah, we tried using the ramps. Didn't work. Too low. So we ended up using jacks. Too low. This dude. But yeah, guys, that's all we're gonna be doing today. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is this is what um Anthony's rest I mean bumper looks like. Um so what the heck? Oh well, they brought her water, nice. <laughs> Anyways, this is how we're gonna adjust the lip because it was all messed up. We're gonna put tape on it right now just so we could flip it and see how it's gonna look. And just so you guys know, this is a, a STI or WRX lip. Do you know what year? Oh, something to 09. Well, it's like an 09 lip for a WRX or STI. And he got an idea from someone else. And, well, he's trying to fit it in his uh, Mazda 3 lip, uh, bumper. And, well, we're going to see if it works. So now we're going we're gonna to be using this hardware. Where'd you get this hardware? Uh, Tracer Supply. Tracer Supply. Uh, I don't know if anyone has Tracer Supply. You can find this at Ace, Home Depot, Menards, uh, Walmart, Dollar Tree, your house, your dad's toolbox. I don't know. Okay, you're just wasting the. Oh. What? What's this? Turn it. Flip it. Rotate Stop it. There's the. I'm telling you, that's good. That's good. That's very. Wow, we did it first try. And you, you drop tools inside your engine bay. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so that's basically how we can set it up, right? All right, so how can you get that now? Oh, you can throw it here. <laughs> That's big as well. Alright, so show them how the lip looks. The perfect flush fitment. We fixed the lip. Do you have a picture? A pic? Nude? No? Nudes? Oh. Alright. Yeah, you do. I took some pictures. And we, we went to go take some pictures. I didn't. We took some pictures. And. I didn't go. I missed it. Damn it. <laughs> I think it's time. <laughs> so right now we uh, aligned up the, the lip with the bumper with some marks, you know, and it's the yeah. Now we're gonna drill it. We're gonna put like these little washers or big ones with the drill. All right. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah yeah yeah. Joe jokes aside. We're gonna drill your mount right here. Then we're gonna drill here. Ready? No going back. Wow. 
Wow, that was that was really hard. All right, you got your first hole right there, man. All right, over here, you see this hole back here too? Yeah, I'm about to drill your mom here too. Mm. We sit right here, right? Yeah. What if I what if I drill outside the line? What about this thing? Hey, you see how you use this camera, up? guys? What's up? You see how you use the camera? Ain't no one got me with this. Look at this. Don't Sponsored by D-Wong. What? Sponsored by Skyers. Sponsored? Yeah. Hey, we're drilling here too? Yeah. You sure? But more to that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hey, make sure clips on. Don't. <laughs> Evil. This is the 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 look at. The, oh, I'm gonna censor that. Tony, I saw your 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 boot. What, what what do they call it? Glute glu glutus maximus or? Glutes. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, yeah, we we fixed it. I was I'll try to find a picture of how it looked before. Um, and you you bend bend down on purpose. Wow. <laughs> he wants so That's when I'm recording. He, he likes the tension. Yeah, you like the tension. Have you shown it at my? But I, I'll insert a picture so you, so I can show you guys how how it look how it looked at uh, before and how it looks right now. It looks way better now. Yeah, there's some gaps, but it's again, it's not the, meant to be for this car, and we made it work. So that's that's, that's really good. So guys, this is this is how it looks. It looks pretty good. It's just you can still see the gap right here. You can still see it. We're gonna figure it, figure something out to make it look clean. That looks so good. Damn. Guys, it is the next day now. We're currently inside my garage. We got the Z in here. Um, yesterday, me and Anthony went ahead and cleaned the whole garage because I had a mess everywhere. I don't know if you guys remember, but all of this was covered in boxes. So we moved the boxes over here. They're going to go in my basement. But anyways, my car has been making like weird sounds by the the front strut or the shock it's been making a like a knocking sound or something like that when i turn so i'm gonna check really quick if there's something loose or there's something that broke or something that cracked i don't know i'm gonna take a look on that right now and i'll let you guys know what it was so guys don't mind my rust i'm starting to get rust on my suspension <laughs> But I mean, it could be worse. I don't know if you guys remember when I had my Mazda. That thing was filled with rust. But anyways, that's not the situation right now. That's not what we're talking on. That's not what we're talking about. Um, nothing seems to be loose. I already like pushed everything, felt it, and nothing seems to be loose. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to go drive it right now and see if I could hear anything or, like, you know. Let's go check.